Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl and I am the activity author here to bring you another book inspired craft video. And if you don't know me, hey, I'm Cheryl. I am an author and I create easy kids crafts out of household items that are usually inspired by books by self-published authors. So check out my mini videos guys. And yes, we are continuing with our Black History Month theme this this month so definitely check back to see all of the other black authors that I am going to feature here on this channel you guys are going to love this video because we got another book by the terrific Tiffany Obing <laughs> y'all remember her okay good yes so today's book is called Andrew learns about engineers your child will love this book because it is all about engineering and learning about engineers of course I will tell you more about the book after the craft so stay tuned okay so like I was saying earlier yes this book does go with the black history month theme so we'll be highlighting some famous black engineers in this video also this video goes perfectly with national engineering week which is Sunday February 19th through Saturday February 25th what do you do on national engineering week why you celebrate how engineers make a difference in our world, you advocate for the need of engineers and bring engineering to life for kids and educators and parents. And I got you covered because you know you can also celebrate by creating these awesome activities that I'm about to show you in this video, okay? So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And like I always say, let's get Crafty. So in honor of Black History Month, Engineering Week, and Garrett Morgan, who we see in the book, invented the traffic light, we are going to make our own moving traffic light just like this. So we are going to paint a paper towel roll all black because we're going to make our stoplight black. And I will show you how to make it change colors magically. So easy. You guys just have to try this. Okay, so I'm attempting to make three holes in this um, toilet paper roll, the shorter one. And um, you can do that using a hole punch or you can cut it like how I'm doing here. But I think the easiest way is to cut holes with the hole punch and just continuously cutting holes with the hole punch. But I'm showing you a lot of different methods in case you don't have a hole puncher. So you can see I'm inserting my finger as well to try to stretch the hole. Um, it, <laughs> it's, this is a little challenging. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But once y'all get the holes punched, everything is smooth sailing from then on, okay? So because I cut the paper towel roll, I need it to be a little bigger than the paper towel roll. So I'm going to use some construction paper to kind of fill this gap. I'm just going to tape it like this. what we ultimately want is for the paper towel roll to fit inside of the toilet paper roll and we want it to be able to move freely like this okay now I'm going to mark where each of the holes are so I know where to put my colored papers and I'm using red yellow and green of course so the first one I got up here I'm going to cut it you know I'm gonna stagger it so I'm gonna start the yellow one here and it'll be kind of like a stair step effect because when I turn it, you'll see the lights will change color. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I'm going to make sure that it is the same size as the red and it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. And then the last color I'm going to make is green. So before I glue it, I'm just going to cut it out so that way I know the shape. So we got red, 
yellow, and if we turn it again, we have green. So now it is ready to be tested out. So let's go ahead and insert this in our toilet paper roll. And it fits perfectly, but one thing I noticed that I don't like because I'm actually very anal is I see the green hanging out right there. I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove part of that so we don't see that. So I just cut a little bit of that construction paper off. And now if you turn it, as you guys can see, look, the stoplight is turning colors. How cool, right? So I mean, y'all could probably think of an easier way to do this, but this was kind of how it was imagined in my head and I love the outcome. So this is our homemade makeshift traffic light. Thanks to Garrett Morgan for inventing this awesome, awesome, awesome invention. These crafts are so exciting. So I cannot wait to make this easy level roller coaster first and then I'll show you a more moderate one next. Now, when you look in the book, this page shows you the process of making an invention, right? So we did that process. We had made our design of how we want our roller coaster to look. And this one's just gonna be a basic one. So we're gonna use paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls, whatever you have, we're gonna cut them in half, okay? And um, stay tuned, if you wanna see a more advanced roller coaster, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. And here is the final product. So now it's time to test our invention and see if it stands the test of time. My daughter was so excited about this one. So we used a couple things to test out our roller coaster. We're gonna use like a small pearl, we're gonna use a ball, and we're gonna even use some pom-pom balls, um, and along with other small toys like that small car you see there. For the most part, it does work. And we were surprised to see that the uh, pearl that we're using goes all the way down. And look, even the ball works as well. So we are trying to use different things to see the speed and how it goes. Me and my daughter, we talked about gravity and force and all of those momentum, we talked about all of that. And here she is trying out every toy she has. Now this would probably work, but it's one of those retractable cars. It's not like a matchbook race car. That would work, but this, nah. And of course, Thomas the Train is too heavy, Kimmy. It doesn't work, but it'll work on the floor. <laughs> Now we even found some pom-pom balls. This was fun as well. So you guys, if you have this in your house, you can use this and anything you want, honestly. I'm gonna show you guys right now one of the learning games we did with this and hopefully you guys can give it a try. Fast, slow. Was this fast? Yeah. Okay, so we can keep this in the fast category. That's fast. All right. What about this one? Was that fast? Uh, a little bit slow. A little slow, all right, we'll put him over here. <laughs> all right, what do we got now? Big pom pom ball? Big pom pom. Oh, what about that, that one? That was a little bit, I think it's slow. Slow, okay. And then, what is this one? Oh! I think that's probably really, really fast. Okay, 
So really, really fast. So, so in order of fact, can you put them in order from fastest to slowest? Uh -huh. Okay, come over here. So who's in first place? First place is right here. Who's in first place? So the fastest ball. Is that one? Okay, first place, second place. Third, well, what third place would be over here. Third place, you think? And then fourth place? Yeah. I think I would agree with you, Kim. Yes, good job. And that's just one game that we played. So I'm curious to see how you guys would use this roller coaster. Drop in the comments below how you guys use this with your kids. And now we are going to move on to the more moderate level. Um, so this is for older kids. Now the book was made for kids ages five to nine. And I would say with help, uh, kids seven and up maybe, yeah, could handle this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this pool noodle in half. What I did here was kind of tricky, but tape will actually hold this pool noodle in place. You just have to use a good amount of tape, but I'm just going in uh, maneuvering which size loop I want to use to get the uh, marble to complete the loop. So definitely start by taping down the paper towel roll, then taping the top end to the paper towel roll like I'm doing. And now I'm trying to get the loop to stay, but it is not trying to bend. So y'all can see here, I'm doing quite a few manipulations to try to get this pool noodle to stay put. Now, um, as you can see from the beginning, I did put a paper towel roll to start it and hold it up with. And now I'm testing it because what I'm trying to do is get the bead to go all the way around the loop and not just go halfway through the loop and fall down. That's not what you want. If that happens, that means your loop is too big, so you're gonna have to stretch out your pool noodle just a little bit and get your loop to be smaller. Now, this was way too big. And, and that's what I like about this experiment is because it gets kids a way to just, you know, test it, trial and error. And they can learn about, okay, if something doesn't work, let's try another way. Let's use some more materials. So I made the loop smaller here, but as you can see, it's still not clearing the entire loop. So another thing you can tell kids is make it higher, make the incline higher so it gets more force to cause it to go faster and then clear that loop. Now after 30 minutes, I finally figured it out, y'all. Look, I got the bead to go all the way to the end. So all I really had to do, instead of making the incline higher, I just made the loop smaller by stretching out the pool noodle, taping it on the bottom. You see how it's taped to the bottom? And that is it so it's really about trial and error and this is the perfect stem project for kids so that way they can experiment with engineering and how things work but this is a lot of fun like even though it took a lot of like trial and error and a lot of work it was fun work and i was so pleased with the results after now sometimes you know you see it's still messing up a little bit but for the most part if majority of the times it clears the loop like you see it doing right now that means winner winner chicken dinner you got it so try this today. You just need tape, a pool noodle, and a paper towel roll, and have fun being a mechanical engineer. Now that you have these two activities under your belt, I'm going to show you how this book pairs perfectly with these activities and why you need to add this book to your collection. If you are looking for an engaging STEM children's book for your child, this is it. This fun and easy to read book explores engineers and their impact on our daily lives and the world. We get to witness Andrew imagining a new toy and his dad talking about engineering and why we need it in our world. This book comes with phonics assistance, an easy reader glossary, and diverse inclusive images of engineering pioneers. Think of like Garrett Morgan and Mae Jameson and even Katherine Johnson. 
your child will begin to think of a possibility in having a career in engineering. So this book is definitely an eye opener for any child out there. Also guys, this book is a must have for National Engineers Week, World Engineering Day, and any day that celebrates engineers contribution to our society and exposing children to the profession. So some special highlights real quick, just we gotta celebrate this book because this book got a lot of accomplishments y'all, I'm telling you. Andrew Learns About Engineers has been nominated for the Black Caucus American Library Association. Y'all, that is a big deal. And this book has received a number one bestseller on Amazon in the engineering category multiple times. This book has been featured in the Jack and Jill organization Houston chapter, and this book has been incorporated in the homeschool curriculum on black history. And lastly, if you're an educator out there, did you know that Andrew Learns About Engineering has a lesson plan and companion activity pack on Teachers Pay Teachers? You should definitely check that out, especially if you guys are working with this book or working with any black history materials this month. I know you guys remember all of the other Andrew uh, Career Day series books here on this channel, so just letting you guys know that this is the fourth book in that series. And it is actually the second STEM children's book in the series too. So definitely wanna collect all of the books, guys, because they are some great, great, great books, as you can see here on the screen. Lastly, this book comes with free learning activities and supplemental lesson plans for kids in grades first, second, and third. And they accompany the book, so that way when you guys get this book, you'll be able to turn it into lessons and fun activities in the classroom. So real quick, a little bit about our author in case you may have forgotten, but Tiffany Obing is the children's book author and owner of Sugar Cookie Books Publishing Imprint. As a female of color raising children of color, she writes books that feature African-American main characters. That main character energy, you gotta love it. Her books are educational and named after and inspired by her son, and they focus on various careers and inspires children to be anything they want to be. Make sure you guys drop down in that description box and engage with Miss Tiffany as she continues on her author journey. And she also has 17 books out right now. So guys, if you wanna go ahead and check out all of her books, I don't blame you. I've already read about half of them, so I'm on the way with y'all, okay? <laughs> so the link to purchase her books are also in the description box. So grab this book and collect all of the Andrew Career books while you are at it, okay? I am still such a huge fan of Tiffany and her brand. So guys, you may see her again here on this channel. I'm just saying. So just remember this face, y'all. Remember this face. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video to the end. So please don't forget to like this video and comment down below your favorite craft from this video. So I know who was watching to the end. And when you make that craft, don't forget to take pictures and tag me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram handle and I will share and celebrate you and your child. Lastly, share this video with a parent, teacher, pastor, sister, cousin, babysitter, anybody you know out there that loves creating with kids. And don't stop watching now. There are two videos here on the screen. So go ahead and click one of these two videos and I will meet you in that video and we can keep the party going. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video, y'all. Bye.